Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another Sunday morning vlog. We're not on the strip. We're not in our backyard. We are in Summerlin. We are. In fact, Summerlin is one of the great success stories in the Las Vegas Valley in 2020. It was named by the American Association of Home Builders as the Master Plan Community of the Year. And it is one terrific town. We are going to explore three places here to check out and look for Christmas. We're going to go to Red Rock Resort. We're going to go to downtown Summerlin. And we're going to go to Tivoli Village. We're looking for holiday decorations, trees, events, and any kind of cheerful, happy things. We need happy right now. We do. All right, this adventure starts right now. Our first stop is the Red Rock Resort on Charleston Boulevard, one of the jewels of the downtown Summerlin complex. We actually heard rumors that there's something in here we just have to see. All right, check this out. It's not your traditional gingerbread house. It's a gingerbread Red Rock Resort, a perfect reflection of the real thing. The replica is nearly five feet tall and was built by the property's carpentry and bake shop teams. Together, they logged 500 hours to put it all together. The carpentry team built a 9-foot by 5-foot wooden structure as the base, and then executive chef Jose Lupe Avila and his bake shop team took over covering it with cake. They used 160 pounds of chocolate, 50 pounds of sugar, 40 pounds of rock candy plus modeling chocolate, fondant, buttercream frosting, edible copper paint, and Rice Krispie treats. Just steps away from the gingerbread display on the casino floor is the Red Rock Christmas tree, and we had to capture a picture of this. This thing is huge, and just look at the stunning spot where they placed it. It's beautiful. The gold-themed decorations are so elegant, but then again, everything about Red Rock Resort is elegant. Behind the Red Rock is this jewel known as Downtown Summerlin. We did a video on this 400-acre commercial residential retail restaurant complex early in 2019, but we wanted to capture it at Christmas time, all decked out for the holidays. They've added these cheerful big red bows at strategic spots perfect for an Instagram photo. The dining area of downtown Summerlin is always beautiful any time of year and any time of day, but it was particularly gorgeous at twilight. And just look at this charming arc of fire to warm your hands. There is a 30-foot tall tree in this area as well, popular with picture takers. This is one of our favorite spots in downtown Summerlin, not to mention great food choices. The lanes in the shopping complex have been strung with white lights. You could almost think it was London or Edinburgh. We love this. They've put nearly 200,000 lights on display all through the property for the holidays. And from up here on the second level, look at the one Summerlin building with its festive colors all season long. In the other direction, the elegant avenue of palms taking you over to the casino. This place is absolutely gorgeous. But we save the best for last. 
The Lawn at the west side of downtown Summerlin is the place to be this year. In fact, we visited this place twice that day, as the sun was setting and then again after dark. You simply cannot miss the signature 40-foot Christmas tree, a downtown Summerlin icon. Get ready, because here comes the Jupiter Express holiday train. For only four bucks, both adults and children can take a ride around the tree and rink. And yep, that's real steam coming out of the smokestack. The rink, though, that's the star of the show. It's an 8,000 square foot real ice rink created by the USA's largest operator of ice sports venues, Ice Rink Events. Skate rentals start at $16, which gets you 75 minutes of skating time to a backdrop of happy holiday music in this spectacular setting. Need a warm pick-me-up? The Coffee Bean and Tea Leaves mobile coffee truck will keep you fueled with holiday beverages while you're here. The Rock Rink will be open for two months from November 13th through January 18th, and they are requiring reservations so they can manage the number of folks on the ice at any one time. Let's just say, even if you don't skate, come on over. Get a hot chocolate and soak in all the holiday excitement at the fabulous Rock Rink. Next stop on our Summerlin holiday tour is a place we haven't visited before with our cameras, Tivoli Village. It's just a few blocks north of downtown Summerlin and it's another feast for the eyes. Located on Rampart Boulevard across from the Sun Coast, Tivoli Village is a 28-acre complex of office space, retail, and dining with eye-popping old-world European architecture. The center has 370,000 square feet of retail and 300,000 square feet of Class A office space. Who wouldn't want to work in a space like this? Construction began on the project in 2006, but it was delayed numerous times during the downturn that happened shortly afterwards. The first phase opened in 2011 and the second in 2016. Restoration Hardware is an anchor store and there is a collection of curated shops, luxury design centers, and wellness concepts to tickle your fancy and burn your credit card. And let's not overlook the art. Just look at the wall art here. And say hello to Rocket, a new addition to the colorful menagerie on the sidewalk. Are you hungry? Tivoli Village has some outstanding food choices and talk about options. Here at the entrance on Alta Drive is the PKWY Tavern. It's a sports bar and traditional tavern with brick walls and lots of brews on tap indoors and plenty of seating outdoors as well. Okay, I gotta admit, this place has intrigued Paul and me for years. We have heard fantastic things about it and yet we have never eaten there. 
It's called Echo and Rig, and it is Chef Sam Marvin's reimagining of a steakhouse slash butcher shop. We need to go in and see for ourselves, but the website calls it a stunning homage to meat with a large open glass meat locker and a nationally acclaimed butcher. Stay tuned because I think we're going to be going there very, very soon. The award-winning El Dorado Cantina opened the doors to its Tivoli Village location in 2019. The restaurant has been around since 2014 and is a favorite with tourists, locals, and celebrities for its fresh-made regional Mexican recipes sourced from the finest available products. This place wins our vote for Best Patio. We absolutely love it. This is a great spot. It's La Casa Cigar Lounge, the place to go for premium cigars, an elegant lounge, and live music in normal times. They even offer a private cigar club for the enthusiast. Hop Nuts Brewing joined the Tivoli family in August 2019 with a tap room and outdoor patio. This is the second location for this hometown brewery, the original and the brewery itself is in downtown Las Vegas. The Leona Cafe has been a cornerstone at Tivoli Village since day one. It was created by coffee lovers, for coffee lovers, and is based on a traditional Italian coffee shop concept. They love to pair their excellent coffees and espressos with fresh baked goods and homemade breakfasts. And the Sidewalk Cafe is a winner. This raised platform is the main stage and it is used for a variety of events here at Tivoli Village during normal times. We think it's one of the most beautiful architectural elements in the complex. So, what's this? It's another unique solution to 2020's unique problems. A festive spot to light the candles and listen to music outdoors under the stars. What a great way to spread the joy. Big thumbs up to this beautiful spot. And Tivoli Village is also hosting a pop-up bar called Santa Baby. It's in Suite 130 in the complex and features holiday-themed cocktails, music, and crafts every evening through December 23rd. You know, we've been to Tivoli Village many times, and you know, to eat and to shop and stuff, and Seriously, they never really had that much uh, foot traffic, did they? No, the, it never seemed to catch on. There's so much competition in Las Vegas, and there was a lot of turnover in the shops and the restaurants. But but it's really a nice place. It is a beautiful yeah. place, and we think that might be about to change because look what's going in across the street. Lots of new construction. It's called Elysian Living. It looks like an apartment or condo complex, and it's going to deposit a whole lot of of new customers right at the doorstep of Tivoli. And not only Tivoli, but also the Sun Coast. This is going to be, this is a big deal. It is a big deal for Summerlin, as if it needs more growth. The town already has 100,000 residents. It's in its 30th year. They still have way more acreage to develop, so it has nowhere to go but more and more growth moving up. If you're thinking about moving, uh, Summerlin is a pretty good choice. Yeah, this is not sponsored. We're, this no. is just our honest opinion. Yeah. We yeah. think Summerlin is fabulous. <laughs> All right, so we showed you three of our favorite spots in Summerlin and hope you enjoyed this little holiday program. Yes, we hope you did. Anything to brighten everyone's spirits out there. All right, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification button. Anything else, Paula? 
If you're not already, join us for Scotchmas. We are uploading a video every day, uh, tasting our Scotch Advent calendar. So we'll be doing that all the way through Christmas Day. All right, hope you had a good time. We'll see you next time. Bye, bye, everyone. bye everybody.